A great storm caught the crew of the Lady Margaret, twisting clouds and waves as tall as houses washed over the deck. Prayers were said, the final kind. The tempest beat the boat, and the crew scrambled to save their cargo. In their toil, a sudden swell washed a mate overboard. The rest watched helplessly as their fellow's head rose twice with the waves. There was no third time. What the fuck is that? That, oh. That, that is a butt plug from hell. Are you, that's a big thing and it has the claws in it. That's a very big thing with the claws. The fuck? And the fuck, yes. All of the fuck. Tano Yarlitho? Uh. The f Okay, also the fuck. I don't even know. The the Gorton's fisherman was into some dark shit. What does Tono mean? I do not I am I do not know. That's not a good thing. That's gonna be on my labor list. Yeah, we can Initiate the seagull scream cadence. They thought the fishing boat lost, then it returned to port weeks overdue. It brought no relief, it brought no comfort, it only brought the fog. Yeah! Ah! Additional assignment received. Initializing. Okay, Operation Coat Hang on your way. Let's just get rid of as many of these things as possible before. I know, right there. I mean, they are just gross. And could possibly end the world. Yeah. Oh god, more of the pregnant ones. They have definitely been busy. Wait, that's not what I meant. Can Drugar make you pregnant? Can you get pregnant? <laughs> Oh, you make it fragment it. <laughs> this is horror. This is horrific. <sighs> okay, it looks like the next stop list is the volunteer fire department. I've been there before. Oh yeah, yeah, you killed a lot of things there. You squint, you strain, are you trying to see us? Your Paleolithic ancestors saw us. They tried to draw our likeness on the cave walls. People in Point Pleasant, West Virginia tried to draw us in 1967. Their eyes blistered red from the sight. We tried to warn them of the collapsing bridge. What do we look like? We are in the eye of the beholder. Looking out and looking in. Do not strain too hard, sweetling. Instead, let us warn you of a disaster 300 years too late. Wait. Were the bees Mothman? I think so, but more pressing. They hadn't told me they stand outside time yet. Then how did you know? Oh, oh god, this is confusing. Visual tracking initiated. She's confusing. I don't think zombies eat squid. I mean, uh, why, why wouldn't they? I especially don't think they take squid as takeout. Look, sometimes, you know, you just come home, you have a long day of work, you, you don't want you know, to reheat some old brains. Oh, brains do not reheat well. You've tried? Oh, I guess zombies do eat squid. Huh. Told ya. Uh. 
That's wrong. Maybe they're trying to eat some kids and got confused. Uh, oh. Oh, dear. Oh, shit. One of these things. Maybe they were bringing it home to their boss. Does it eat squid? I don't... It looks like it might eat squid. It looks like it is squid. Got all, of, got all of, uh, Sandy stuff. Guess you're on your own time now. Ooh, free cell phone. What is cell phone? Oh, it looks like it belongs to uh, Danny Dufresne. Oh yeah, I remember him from Doctor. Um, he was the one who put up that YouTube video. I checked it out. <laughs> it's very, very funny. Yeah. Of course, the Illuminati does not officially endorse behavior like that, but we do find it hilarious. Dufresne and Son. Gone skate. Okay. Now let's put it in the mailbox. If he's still alive, put the back for him. And you know what? I bet the postal service is still up and running. Now we found that mail truck. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Yeah, shoot. I don't want to be uplifted here. Here in this city. Oh, I did find out Tono just means tuna. So that boat was apparently like Nyarlathotep tuna. What the fuck? I know, right? This goddamn town. Oh, another lost cell phone with the person still holding it. Oh, that's. I don't think you can keep that one. <sighs> or maybe you can, since you're dead. No, no, no. Well, there's a message on the screen still. Hmm. Rest of battery life. That sounds familiar. Very disrespectful in this sort of sense. Yeah. You are totally exact. Wow, this is old school. No wonder it has such battery life. Eek. You are totally exaggerating these winds. Just crawl over to the church and send me the Hawthorne surveillance. You are like right there. The control pad is under the stone in front of the church. Your code for the keypad is the first song he planned to sing on Sunday. Uh, forwarding to someone else at five. You know what that means. Now that sounds familiar. That sounds very familiar. A new clue? A new trail of illumined thought? A year before the fire, a stranger broke into Solomon Priest's house trying to steal Illuminati documents. He was dragged away cursing. The eye in the pyramid focused and followed this man. Evicted from Kingsmouth, he crept south, town to town along the coast and towards the Spanish colonies, where he faded away. Who? I don't know, I just said he. Probably not. Huh. They're not going to tell us straight out. Let's forward it on. And the surveillance of Henry Hawthorne is ours. Oh, that's why it sounded familiar. God damn it, KG. The cleaning woman, one of our agents. <laughs> Remember the launch mat? No need to waste time out there. If you're wondering why we're keeping tabs on Hawthorne, just talk to him. Or read some of his forum posts. His Illuminati internet interest borders on obsession. Every now and then we'll throw part of a code at him. And not just to tease him. There's actual talent there. The problem is his inability to keep his mouth shut. You think? He had all those... All those stained glass windows redone. He must have. I don't think that orange is 
Uh, well, it's probably just mush right now. It's still frozen. Really? Okay. I will not ask questions about that. Come to think of it. Cell phone. I haven't been there for weeks. On. How did the battery not go down? Oh my god. What? Are we in the desert other world? I feel like I should get that reference. Night Vale. Oh, yeah. Shit, for some reason I was thinking Beetlejuice. But, here you go. Have fun with this big guy. Travel in the open country, you learn to be prepared for whatever the land throws your way. Faced with the elements, you gain a new appreciation and respect for nature. You come to accept how small and insignificant you truly are. Nature is neither good or evil. It just is. But there's nothing natural about the storm that rolled in on Solomon Island, or the fog that followed. It was evil in that fog. Whispering to everyone in its path. The townsfolk fall in the fog back into the sea, as if possessed. It was Deputy Gardener, Andy saved my life. Really? He grabbed hold of me when the fog got into my head. Tied a rope around us both. Kept walking the other way. Really? It was like the whispers didn't get to him. When I finally got my wits back, the fog had rolled back out again to where it is now. We shook hands, and we started looking for survivors and building this fortress. How do you survive? That's a very good question. Well, you know that Andy, he's real single-minded. That's what everyone says about him. Yep, ask him, do you know what they say? They say that Andy, he sure is single-minded. That man saved my life. Selflessly. And I love him for it. I'd go to the ends of the world and back for Andy. I don't think I'll ever win him over, though. Oh. Let's try, try. Yeah, come on. I'm you... ship that. Yeah, I would. Helping locals defend themselves isn't a total waste of time. It keeps them alive, which keeps down the number of flesh feeders in the air in the street. These sh shopping sprees in town are fine as long as you're multitasking. That means reconnaissance. It means mapping your threats. It means keeping tabs on those pods out by the trawler. Yeah. Anyway, you've just spent a lot of your free time and mine gathering exposed material. I hope it's put to good use. Oh yeah, I'm sorry to have wasted so much of your time, KG. Sandy, he seems kind of clued in. A little more than you'd expect. You know, he is wearing a leather jacket. Those people generally know what they're talking about. But you know what I mean. Yeah. He's... Living on the razor's edge of society, your eyes open up to the possibility that there's something more to this world. Something most people are too blind or too preoccupied to notice. Even if it's right under their noses. And has been all along. I told you, the secret world is secret. Just like your uncle's drinking problem. I only noticed small things at first. Roads that appeared and disappeared. Folks who traveled by way of gates drawn in chalk on brick walls. Houses bigger on the inside than on the outside. Magic trinkets sold at yard sales. Yeah. Street shamans capable of taking out the cancer inside you. But it wasn't until I found myself face to face with werewolves in New Orleans that I realized there's a secret war going on. After that, I couldn't escape it. I saw signs and sigils everywhere. I met recruiters for the Templars, Illuminati, and the Dragon. They all seemed to think I'd make a useful operative. I'd tell them I'd take no sides, and that I'd be little use to them. But the United Against Darkness thing I can get behind. We're all in this together, and we've all got work to do. 
My passion for this life is my greatest weakness. Out there on the road, I found serene understanding of just what there is, which is more than I could ever want. And life is too sacred to miss even one single sunrise from nursing a black eye. That said, indifference is the greatest crime. I never turn my back on decent folks in trouble. And if I learned anything in Baton Rouge, aside from damn good bourbon chicken, it was that old man do I hate zombies. Yeah, I tell you, there's a real enlightenment to be found on the open road, with no witness but the cinemascope sky. Solitude's the only real test of character. To be out there on your own is to see deep inside yourself. But soul-searching means nothing to those who don't have one. And solitude is no fortress against the walking dead. No. We need to stick together. This is a test of character forged in fire. I've been tinkering with these instruments of death, and I think they'll do the trick. Still need a test run, though. Preferably somewhere we don't knock over any picket fences. Sometimes you don't really like what you see when you do that. Sayonara. I may ask about that later. Get the feeling this is not a good time. Mm, it'll probably never be a good time. So you're saying I should ask now? No. <laughs> uh, right. Who wants me to do? Temporary abilities acquired. Oh, mines. All right. Where's the kaboom? Yeah, I didn't see any air shadow kaboom. Or wow, that's a really focused blast. I'm well, I mean you're also kind of indestructible. Not that indestructible. Yeah, you are. No no look, the blast goes straight up. <laughs> let's see oh yeah, let's see what else you got in this. Temporary abilities acquired. Ooh, Molotovs. Nice. Not bad. Hmm. Ah. What is time to us? We stand outside. There was a time, sweet like hundreds of years south of you, when folk knew to burn the cadavers of certain wicked persons. We see them now standing around the flames. Archers are at the ready, bows drawn and quivering. Should any animal, any rat or cat or crow wander near the flames, that creature is shot. The people do not blink. They know that evil dies hard. And one animal spread the pestilence again. Okay, now they use the exact phrasing that I used before. Maybe they got it from you. Could be. Alright, now he wants me to just dump this in the sewer? That's an interesting design on that manual cover. Yeah, very old. Oh, I'd say it worked. Well, yeah. Told you, you should believe every single thing you see in the movies. <sighs> and now, the last one is he wants me to put this on a scooter? I mean, I don't think he likes scooters too much. Oh, I see a motorcycle stop. Of course he is. <laughs> Oh, now let's test this out. Oh, 
All right, let's put this stuff down and see what we got. Temporary abilities acquired. Moose gave you a lot of stuff, didn't he? This is a huge sewer. I wonder all those things came out of there. Well, you know, you gotta have room in the sewer for, you know, the Ninja Turtles. Is this a... Uh, you know, this is not... Is this a storm train, maybe? I mean, it could be. Or is this like a... Or are we dealing with like a... It's... Is this like the Illuminati Labyrinth? I mean, honestly, it gets hard to keep track of what we do and don't do around here. You, did you hide stuff here? Yes. Do you know what you hid here? That, I mean, that is that is so far above my pay grade here. I mean, we have so many levels of classification. In other words, you forgot. Yeah, yes. That is what I did. I mean, like you as the organization. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I knew that. I knew that. We're... Look, you gotta... Not very good record keeping, are you? You gotta understand, we have... We go back to the dawn of time. That's a lot of records to keep. I mean, you know, we've got most of the Library of Alexandria in here somewhere. Really? Only most? Well, you know, some... This... Someone borrowed a copy of uh, the Rite of Hammurabi in 1700s and has not returned it. You are Canadian. What? How? What? 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 No. no. Somebody borrowed? That's just a thing people say. In Canada? I don't know what you're getting so worked up about here. About a boot? I didn't say a boot. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but I don't know where you're getting this from, eh? <laughs> I didn't know if there were Canadian Illuminati. We keep our heads down. We're polite, we don't cause trouble, and we're all secretly badasses. Because we're half there. I'm close to believing that. Yeah, don't, don't stand too close to it. Jesus, there's a lot of them. Yeah, this place. Jeez, they're gonna get ready for an invasion down here, weren't they? I'm just standing in the fire. I don't give a shit. Man, Moose, Moose's instincts are something else, you know? Yeah. I must have seen this coming. Somehow. I wonder how literally. Oh, well, that's that for them. Yeah, now we just got the cleanup. Diversity obstructed means so allows us to track any enemy responses to fire, shock, imp impairment, etc. The tactical advantages of combining long and short range strategies should be clear at this point. That's why I use a hammer and a shotgun. Yep. So keep mixing things up. I suspect the drugs are like fish. They can't keep out of water for long stretches of time. By blocking the sewer, we've restricted a key access point to town, hopefully. Limited drawing influence to a more manageable radius. High five. Wait, didn't we see some drug in land? Yeah, not that far in land. Pretty far. I mean, I'm, a fish couldn't get that far. Maybe a walking fish. Maybe, maybe a walking 